Hello and welcome back to a new video. We recently reached 10k subscribers here on YouTube and uh, this video is my way to try and say thank you. I didn't expect to get here as fast as I have. I think I made my video, my first video, roughly a year ago I think? And I thought realistically maybe in five years I might reach something like this, but reaching this so soon with you guys has kind of blown my mind. Uh, so thank you so much. Um, so yeah, in this video I wanted to show you the process for my thank you, draw this in your style, and include a giveaway for those who take part. Um, rules and prizes will be shown at the end of the video. So yeah, for those who don't know, DTIYS stands for draw this in your style. It is an art challenge where someone creates an image of whatever they like in their style and then invite whoever sees it to also draw it but in their own style. It's very simple and to the point. It's been a while since I last made one of these challenges but I knew that this one needed to be of my girl Kara in some way. Um, I consider her to be my first OC which stands for original character by the way and because of that and because I draw her so frequently, she feels like a big part of my online art journey and has, and has been a somewhat constant through it all. So yeah, I had a couple ideas I was going through. As you saw at the beginning, I initially started roughing out a sketch of Kara and her vamp boy Caesar. He's also one of my OCs. But since Halloween month is soon, and maybe even now, depending on when I post this, I'm not sure when this is going up, um, I wanted to make something that fit more of the spooky vibe. And while I like the design of both Kara and Caesar in that first sketch, it's based on an old idea and it just wasn't meshing with where I feel I'm currently at. So I wanted to do something with more of my fun style, something a little cozy, and I also wanted to use my new, more chaotic shading and colouring method, and I'm just not so sure that that would have worked with the first idea. I've recently been trying to use more saturated and bright colours in my art. This is something I've been hesitant to do for a while, as I always feel that I struggle when it comes to colouring things in general and choosing colours that work well together. For a long time, my art has basically been grayscale, as I'm sure you've noticed, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I do feel it was a huge contributor to why I started to go off art at a few points and I started to get disappointed with what I was creating. Um, and since trying out new colouring styles and trying to make them unrealistic, um, I've had a lot more fun and have found that I'm at a point with my art that I've never been at before. I really, really like it. And like, I think I've got a healthier relationship with what I do with my art. I don't mind trying out things that I'm not as comfortable with and I don't feel guilty anymore when I go back to things that I have done a lot of, like grayscale art with just normal basic pencil. Um, and I'm really happy with that. And I know there are a lot of times where I complain or nitpick about my art, but this is usually because of either some small detail that I didn't like about it, or usually because of the mood I was in when I was actually drawing it, and that would affect how it came out, or just my opinion of it in general. Um, just trust me that I'm super happy with where my art is at, and I really hope that that comes across in what I've been putting out recently. When I started this YouTube channel, I actually had no intention of doing much with it outside of sketchbook tours. It just didn't seem like the kind of thing I wanted to get into. Um, my confidence is something I've been working on in my life and this just seemed like it would be too much for me. But the support I received and have been continuously receiving has honestly been crazy and I find myself actually enjoying making videos and wanting to make more. The other day I went back to one of my first sketchbook videos and I hadn't realised until doing that just how much I've changed since then. Like, my confidence, like it's still kind of shaky, but honestly I'm... <laughs> I don't, I don't want to sound weird saying this, but I'm like really proud of where I've gotten at with my confidence and I really hope that that has been coming through my videos lately as well. Um, I find that m filming these audios hasn't been as daunting as they used to be and I, I feel more comfortable just saying things, letting the flow take it if that makes sense. 
I have artists here on YouTube that have been like a big part in pushing me to take my art seriously and who I let inspire me with how I went about making my videos. Um, Drawing with Waffles is a big one. She's actually who made me want to finally finish a sketchbook back in 2018 and her videos kept motivating me to make more and more art. She's one of the biggest reasons I am where I am today in my art. Yeah, I just wanted to give her a little bit of credit because she she's a huge part of my art life. Casey Golden is another artist who helped me tap into my more fun side of drawing. Watching her create her art that was so wholesome and enjoyable to experience pushed me to try different styles within my main style. Um, and the last coffee bean is the final YouTube artist that I'll be mentioning who actually got me wanting to make videos at all. She made such lovely and cool art that just really vibed with me in such an honest and natural way that really made me want to do something similar. And if you've been following my channel, then you know that I recently got to do a collaboration with her. And I think that's crazy. I never thought I'd get the opportunity to work with someone I looked up to so much and it was so much fun. I'm so glad we did it. So now, for the rules of this little giveaway. To enter it is really simple, you just need to join in and draw this image in your style. A post of this will be up on my Instagram, including the rules and prizes, and a smaller version of the post will be up on Twitter too, but because of the word limit, I'll likely just refer everyone to this video for the rule details and prize information. I'm also going to put something similar to what I'm saying here in the description of the video too, so that you can just go through that and read it if, if it's easier. So you can take this image and change it however you want, as long as Kara is in it. Her clothes have to look similar to the ones she is wearing. You can change and modify them as you want as long as they keep the same vibe. No NSFW. You're welcome to add your own characters interacting with Carver and at least one of the images of the original post is included in your post. On Instagram, you need to use the hashtag staticdtyys10k and tag me in the post itself um, these are so I can ensure that I can easily find your post to include you in the giveaway. And on Twitter, you just need to post your art as a reply to my original post. Um, all entries will also be posted on my story as well as my highlight reel on my profile. This giveaway will be open until the 1st of November and I'll give fair warning leading up to when it's coming to the end. This will be open internationally and winners will be chosen randomly. All names of entrants will be put into a random wheel spinner, same as the one that I did for the Ohuhu giveaway. And I have decided to have two winners for this. And both prizes will have some similarities, but otherwise have different items. So you can see them here. I know it looks kind of like a mess at the moment, but um, this is the first winner's prize. You're going to get two prints, um, a keychain of Spaceman Rick, this button of my fish design, a button, no, a pin of Spaceman Rick, and then just an assortment of stickers. The second winner will get a keychain of Kara, a keychain of my mermaid from a couple from a couple years ago and this small assortment of stickers as well. I also have these little star trinkets, I don't know what you'd call them, <laughs> um, that I made a little while ago that I wanted to throw in as well. Um, both winners will be able to pick one. There is, There are some smaller ones as well here and if the winners do want one, I will let them pick from the assortment which one they get. There is only one entry per person. If you enter on both Twitter and Instagram, then I will only include you once. But I do have to ask that you don't do this as it can be quite difficult to sort through everyone's posts and it will just make it easier for me if you try and stick to these guidelines. So that's pretty much it for the rules and those are the prizes. The prizes will be sent out shortly after the competi uh, competition. Shortly after the giveaway ends, I just really want to say thank you to you guys. It has been crazy the amount of support I've received on YouTube and it really has helped me more than you would know. And I'm really hoping that this small gift I can give you 
is enough to show you how much it means to me or how much you guys mean to me. I just don't know how to thank you guys enough. And yeah, I just really hope you enjoy taking part. Even if you don't win, I hope you enjoy drawing Kara. I also do want to say a thank you to my Patreons. Dispy, Imagine Pauly, Megan Palmer, Grim Clow, Lily M, Bailey, Non-Toxic, Saint Nix, LP, Parker and Kira May. Thank you guys so much for the support and thank you everyone who watched this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have fun if you take part and just a huge thank you. Um, have a lovely day.